Paymetrics Receivables Management Solutions allow for the processing of electronic payments within the SAP Financials module. This is an ECC6 system and we're going to execute the OpenAR solution which allows for the processing of electronic payments against open invoices that were originally billed on payment terms. We've entered a customer number and when we execute we'll see a list of open items, both debits and credits, that exist on this customer's AR account. The items in green are items in which two or more partial payments have been made and the full amount of the invoice has been paid. We've simply not cleared those payments against the original open item. The ones highlighted in red are credits, everything else is a debit. We'll go ahead and choose a display variant to hide some of these fields. At this point, with the customer on the phone, the CSR would, along with the customer, decide which items to make payment against and select those items. So as I select items, you'll see that the amount to be processed increases. I can mix and match debits and credits. I can make full or partial payments by changing the amount to be paid in the amount to process column. Any of these changes will be immediately reflected and will indicate how much will be charged or credited to the card when payment is processed. However, let's go ahead and make a payment just against one item that we have selected here at the bottom for $262.50. With this item selected, I'll click on the Payment button. If I have any cards stored on file on the customer's account within SAP, those will be shown for me to choose from. So you can see the customer's preferred card is a Visa card that ends in 1111, and you're seeing the token here rather than a raw card number. There's also an American Express and a MasterCard. Alternatively, if we want to process payment via an electronic check, if we are connected to a processor that can support that method of payment, we would enter bank account and routing details. Or if we need to enter a different card or there are no cards on file, we would be prompted to enter those details and we could invoke the Paymetric XI Intercept for SAP solution by hitting the pull down button rather than entering the card number directly into the SAP application. However, right, let's go back and we'll use that default Visa card ending in 1111. We'll select that, be prompted, are we ready to authorize this card for the amount selected? We'll say yes, and you'll notice that the message is indicating that a call is being made from SAP to Paymetric are displayed at the bottom. The response shown here indicates that the card was approved and we can see the authorization code, the Paymetric transaction ID, and other reference details. And then if we watch this item that we have selected, when I hit enter, we're going to call a standard SAP transaction to post an incoming payment and clear that item. And the clearing document number is shown below. The item is removed from our list as the list is refreshed. And if I wish to process additional payments at this point, I can. However, when I exit, I see a result report showing me the items I had selected, the original open amount, and the amount of payment that's been applied, and some of those authorization response details off to the right. The clearing document number is listed, and when I click on it, I can see that the following postings have been made. There's been a credit to clear that item against the customer's AR account, and that liability has been shifted into the Visa MasterCard receivable account. It's from this account that the nightly settlement job will read this item along with any others that were processed as payments on sales orders 
and submit all of those open items as a settlement batch and within 24 to 72 hours the merchant should receive a deposit that will equal that batch submission amount. So that's a quick look at the OpenAR utility. Again, a custom transaction built by Paymetric, which would be imported into an SAP system and executed by an internal employee that allows for the processing of electronic payments against items that are open on the customer's AR account, which were originally built on payment terms. <laughs>